Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third place match for the All Invitational. Uh, it's what you've been waiting for. It's Necro and Exiled fighting it out to the end. Uh, $10 up for third place. Uh, queuing up right now in the first map is going to be Catalyst LE, and we're going to be diving into this uh, really quickly. We have really a great set of uh, competitors here. Well, we're really actually super excited to see this go down. Uh, looks like they're both ready, and we're going to get in straight in to this game. Clicking the start button and waiting 10 seconds and having all that build up and the crescendo just to add it for another. Let's go. Any second now? Two, one. And we're going to get in the game number one. Ladies and gentlemen, look at those stars. Look at those borders. Look at that very sassy portrait uh, from all uh, all ends exiled. I do believe you have to play in the collegiate league just to get that. I think that's the right one. Um, feel free to quote me on that and tell me when I'm wrong. Uh, but it's very fancy. It's very fancy. And spawning in the bottom right hand corner in the light blue, the Protoss. It is exiled. His opponent in the top left hand corner in the yellow. It is Nicro. Both of these opponents have amazed me with their micro, have amazed me with their macro, have hatched plans and schemes and devoured opponents throughout the entirety of this tournament. And here they are right now facing down in a best of five for their $10 third place win. This has been uh, a week in the waiting. We have lined up for this. We are ready, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for these two fantastic absolutely devastating opponents as we're going to get into the best of all ends pvp pvp doesn't get any better in this clan than what we are watching right now it can't get better it doesn't exist at a higher level we are we are going to the goal and you can see their timings are synced up both of them dropping double gases both of them putting down wait we have double double gateways double double quadruple double we have double gateways going down here at the main ramp Oh. Yeah. Let's see, it looks like he was thinking about expanding. Pulled himself back for a moment, decided to stick on one base. Um, another person's going to go out here. We'll see if we get a. Uh, we'll see what he gets in the scout. So far, he's. he's this looks like he's. Oh, you know what? Let me take some words back. Checking for cannons. Checking everything funky outside his base. And now he's going to go across the map and he's going to scout. Oh. Um, he's going to scout his opponent. Now, I will. Uh, I have to apologize. Uh, I have to apologize. Uh, after this match, I realized I'm going to have to go fix my hotkeys because StarCraft deleted all my settings and my hotkeys. Luckily for me, I store my hotkeys online because this happens. Uh, but it does look like uh, Exiled wants to, wants to expand here. There we go. If anybody wants to tell me the key for zooming out on standard hotkeys uh, in chat, that would be a fantastic help. So it looks like we're going to chrono boost out a sentry. Now we're going to chrono boost out warp on the other end of the map. We are just double chronoing stalkers here. And Micro also pushes to expand, seeing that his opponent has indeed expanded and isn't coming across the base with things like anything funky. Uh, the stalker over here checking for additional pylons or probes, um, hiding around in those very popular uh, forward pylon locations. Nope, there's a probe. That probe is going to get got. Uh, he's not going to see anything additional. Uh, now we're waiting here for the next set of tech structures. We're going to see what the uh, what direction each of them want to go in soon, and really the focus of their build. We're getting out more sentries actually, so it look, looks like Exile is going to favor more uh, more sentry play. And what we've seen out of him before is he is very fantastic with those spellcasters. Um, all right. Looks like double robotics facility. They both see stalkers, so I expect uh, immortals to start coming out. And it's going to be an immortal juggling, uh, stalker juggling, uh, juggling battle as we get those immortals, keep those immortals alive, keep them destroying, uh, destroying stalkers. And it's going to be very much a, a stalker count unless we see a fast tech switch here. Uh, but it does look like, uh, does look like I'm seeing the immortals come out. So immortal first out of uh, Exiled's robotics facility. And we'll take a look over here and see what we get out of uh, out of Nicro on the other side. Both of them opting for the shield battery at the front gate. 
a uh, little bit of a little bit of scouting there by the Phoenix. Um, is any game sound that coming in? Give me a second. I'll, I'll give you some in game sound. I think I keep it low for my own ears, but that is my bad. All right, is that any better? Do you just let me know? So take a look around here at the game. Take a look around here at the map. Take a look at our opponents. Back here behind the middle line, just another gateway. Uh, upping up for, uh, looks like a, a march across the map, actually. So we have three gates for Exile. He's hoping to put on a little bit of time digression, but his opponent on the other end, they're going to pass uh, in the night here. Uh, but, actually, Necro's forces in a better position. Looks like Exile's going to have to regroup and pull back and answer this push as well. Going to catch this sentry. Uh, that's a very fortunate catch there for Necro. There we go, we heard a chrono. Uh, let me know if this needs to be louder. I, it's hard to, it's low, but there's something. Okay, no, let me get this setting right, you're right. Uh, while these two, after this battle, while these two meet right in the middle. Nope. Now we do have a warp prism, but warp prism does mean one less, uh, one less immortal uh, in the making. Uh, as opponent opting for more mortals here. Oh, there's a warp prism right there. Um, and we have the battle. Oh, so many stalkers uh, being juggled back there in the warp prism. Excellent use of portals. Uh, immortals trying to get to a good position, but the immortal count. Um, immortal actually in the back being juggled. Another mortal uh, on the ground. Uh, they've got rid of one, having to pull him back. One immortal goes down. Uh, for Nicro, but he's just got so much as he warps in another round, uh, taking out that forward pylon. Uh, just to see if he oh, deciding to position himself and walk right up the ramp. Uh, there are no sentries, nothing going to be blocked. Uh, doing that amazing warp prism juggler as he marches up the map. Uh, there's a sentry force field, a sentry just pops out of the gate. Uh, GG, exile taps out first game, goes to Nicro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to get into game number two very shortly. It looks like that's going to be on black pink. So let's get that queued up. And I'm going to mess with some settings in just a second. I need to wait for the sound to come in quieter on mine and louder for the rest of you. Right, one sec. So, I'm missing all my hotkeys. I'm going to get that fixed really quickly. God actually just updated these recently. My documents, StarCraft Two, my account. Let's find those. to drop these in all profiles that say hotkeys. You ready? There they go. There they go. No, I don't have to replace it. They're there. That's fun. Alright. It's not showing up. I'll do it this later. We'll go into... Uh, can I play Cami instead? I'm going to go to my Cami account, he says. So... All right, Necro versus Exiled. Game number two is going to take place on Black Pink. 
And we are getting into game number two. Ten second countdown, ladies and gentlemen, as we cue this up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, best of five. First map went to Nicro. Spawning in the top right hand corner. In the light blue, it is Exiled. His opponent in the bottom left hand corner, the yellow Protoss, Nicro. Alright, there, first pylons going down. Let's see if we see anything fun this time. Alright, first set of gateways. And they're nice and polite staying at home. Double gas being taken. I like this double gas uh, next to each other here. A little farther away from the main gate, but open to harass. There's our double gateway we saw last time. I expect we're going to see the same openers uh, as each opponent uh, sticks to an early double gate build. But really, I say that, but if Nicro takes another one of these games, he's going to be free to cheese. Uh, this is a best of five. He only needs to take three. If he can take this game, he'll be in a very comfortable position. As he moves, as he first probe actually to move across the map to make sure um, he can hold this win. His opponent quite comfortable to sit here and not scout at the moment. First pylon going down to the back a little. Uh, a little pylon, if you will. Alright, there goes Cybernetics Core. And looks like he's opting. Yep, looks like he's opting to expand down, uh, expand on the low ground now. Nacro feeling quite comfortable as he takes a look around. Not seeing any hidden tech doing that pylon count. Oh, and getting stuck. There he goes. He's got to click on those minerals if he wants to get that thing home. And a couple probes actually coming out to chase this. Looks like they were just stalling long enough trying to get these stalkers out. These stalkers are actually going to move across the map. Uh, and they're going to meet uh, what Stalker Sentry on the other side. So it looks like they, they are going to opt to pull back, knowing that he's uh, not going to be able to do anything. Um, not going to be able to do anything on the other side. Right, there goes down the expansion for Nicro. Uh, but back home, Exile, yep, Exile opting for Twilight Council. Nicro opting for the robotics facility. Alright, sorry to blink up right away, so it looks like we are going to have a blink fight. Uh, very important information uh, that Nicro wants right now. Um, looks like in response... Um, well... Actually, very important information he wants so he can continue to, to gauge the appropriate response. Uh, but it does look like he's going to continue to pump out um, Sentry Stalker. So we might see another timing push uh, coming across the map at about the same time as last game. Uh, as Warpy actually finishing both opponents in just a few seconds here. Phoenix coming over. He is going to get his information. He knows where the pilot is. I love it. He goes right for it. Another gateway going down. Third gateway. So all timings the same uh, both of these opponents moved out across the map uh, in about uh, a few minutes from this point so I expect the action to start heating up as there's that small push we saw from before uh, Exod pushing across the map but this time he's got blink on the way he's got blink finished up he's got two more gates coming um, and Cheeky Ford Pylon. I do love this concave though. 
Uh, I love the the shield batteries. Uh, I do have an immortal. This is this is going to be a a wall that I don't think uh, Exile's going to be able to break at the moment. He's going to have to do some really good blinking um, and and really uh, aggressive play. This this gateway expansion that we saw. Uh, he had two more gates. Oh no, the gate was down here. Uh, well, may or may not be what he needs, but really this positioning, these double immortals here uh, in a perfect, perfect concave. Uh, next odd gets gets the picture real quick, and he decides he's got to back up. Oh, here he comes in again, poking for a second time, and coming back. And there's Phoenix. I love this Phoenix. I love this little uh, you know low energy unit. He's gonna go across the map. Um, and maybe count gates. Uh, see how all in this is. Um, as we see, both of them still popping out probes. If we take a look at the base, the response to this, the response to pressure at your front door is to throw, he, throw down his own Twilight Council and play catch up on Blink, uh, which as long as he maintains these good formations, uh, he'll be able to do. Uh, his opponent, as he's taking a look around, uh, putting down a Templar Archives, actually. Uh, so it looks like we were going to see some Templar or uh, some Archon play there, uh, but we aren't getting a robotics facility. So, right, I'm not missing it. I usually save those things that I mouse over, and there's a robotics facility. Um, a gateway expansion, actually. So it looks like he wants to uh, continue this pressure, uh, or at least be able to sustain it, sitting at this front door here, um, hoping to get something done. And there's the Phoenix again. Uh, coming out for a, a bit of a second scout, he's got to know this. This opponent's right at the front door. Uh, he's looking for. He's looking for this. Is what he's looking for. Well, I take that back. If he was looking for this, he'd have gone that way. Um, but he is trying to keep his information fresh as he sits uh, back at home, knowing he's he's kind of pressured. Sees there's no third base. Uh, knows this is going to be a bit sustained. He's there. He's going to see the Archon. He knows what he's going to be facing now. This gateway expansion. This gateway explosion. He's got to match that now. He's seen it. He knows it's there. Um, and he does have quite a production facility at home to keep that going. So this is going to be uh, really, it looks like this is going to mount up to a, either a battle of the ramps uh, right here where this game gets decided. Uh, but we are, we are getting in a couple of zealots. As he's not pulled off gas necessarily. Uh, there we go. I say to pull off gas, but um, finishing about to finish up zealot legs. There we go. Uh, both of them getting zealot legs, but Exile actually going to be finishing up uh, plus one very soon. Uh, so as long as he gets away and regroups of this army, uh, Knacker's going to be hard-pressed to uh, finish this off. Blink and Charge and Archons. He's walking up uh, walking up to this gate. Now he might be feeling a little confident uh, in his, uh, his ability to, to knock this out. A couple of zealots actually here getting into a good position on the side. Um, either Charge another rear. Uh... Oh, third base going down for Nicro. Looks like he wants to uh, not just f uh, not try to all in here. He's uh, looking to sustain this fight because uh, every every moment now that he gets the uh, well, this this moment's little. Uh, there it is. Zealots getting stuck in the, in the in the force fields. Looks like these archons are putting out massive amounts of damage, uh, but these zealots uh, getting their charge damage in now as uh, stalkers uh, do battle on the Logan. More zealots being uh, being called in here. Uh, looks like plus one shields now halfway done. Uh, for Exile, uh, Nycro's really either got to uh, get the good damage, he's got to get the good damage in now. If he can't, uh, if he can't do critical damage, I believe, I do believe Exile's going to walk across the map here. And, uh, oh, I, as I say that, there are so many, so many of Exile's units uh, going down, even with these plus one weapon upgrades, uh, the forces here from Nycro are just too much. It's absolutely bonkers how much damage is being done, and Exile types, uh, Exile taps out. Uh, game number two goes to Necro. Oh man, it's always in the middle of battle. Where I'm like, all right, here's here's where it's going. Here's where it's flexing. Units are dying faster than I thought. I'm getting ahead of myself, and we're going to go into game number three uh, on Blackwater. Backwater? Backwater. This is really, it really feels like this is Nycro's game to lose. Um, I'm going to let, make sure we do very, very, very. All right, looks like we are queued up. Looks like we are ready. Uh, colors are chosen. Races are correct. And we're going to get into game number three.
on Backwater LE. This is my Louisiana of, of maps. I, lo I love it. Uh, let's take a quick look around. The mains come down to a nice ramp, uh, but the naturals favor the, the aggressor, this nice wide uh, open open area that you has to be walled off it provides no high ground coverage uh, for the defender but what the defender does get is this fancy hidden third base back here um, a tight uh, small tight confined area for advancing through and a solid wall all the way around leaving only room for for air forces to come in from the from the south uh, or playing Terran obviously our, our nice little reaper hop which they've uh, used a lot more of this season limited reaper access if you will but we don't have Terran so don't let me uh, dally on that too long and we do have the gateways going down uh, one gas so far a little bit of a mirror should be seeing second gas from both of them the timing is almost in sync uh, but that's what we expect from this high high caliber level of Protoss player um, so take a look at the map oh actually not introductions because I should do that. Ladies and gentlemen, spawning in the top left hand corner in the light blue, down two games. He needs to do a reverse all kill on his opponent. It is exiled. That opponent up two games only needs one more to clinch the ten dollar third place prize. It is Necro. Alright, so we're getting some tech being thrown down here. Uh, double gateway, seven X core, a mirror of the first couple minutes of all PvP games we have gotten to observe. With that nice uh, secondary tech pylon coming down over here um, near the mineral line. So, so as I was, uh, oh, there we go, probe scout here. Both of them should be getting the information they need to feel comfortable expanding and making this another two base game. As it looks like, it's Stalker, Stalker, and Stalker Century. Just a repeat uh, of the first two and a half minutes of uh, all the games we've had so far. Um, Exod coming down here now. Um, looks like he's checking for, looking for any, um, looking for any proxies. Oh, proxy himself. So a nice far out, uh, a far away location. So I, I imagine we're going to see uh, either DT Tech or Stargate. Um, but it does look like he feels he needs some. Uh, he needs to win an information war uh, if he's going to win this war. Maybe feeling a little pressured uh, to react here as the Twilight Council goes down. So, there it is, the Dark Shrine. Win behind, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm hoping to take the uh, hope to take the advantage. Uh, of surprise here. Now, that being said, Nitro has been very quick to put down a robotics facility, uh, and there he does have one right there. Uh, that first unit, though, has historically been an immortal for him, uh, followed by a, a warp prism. But at least he'll have the tech out, he'll have the capacity to make an observer. Um, that being said, uh, this Phoenix is going to come out. He's going to notice the tech. Uh, and if he's if he's really good and if he's really on top of his game, he'll do a, a quick check of available funds and what's been produced, and he'll notice that uh, there is something missing, and we might see another phoenix uh, heading around the map. So there he goes. Oh, he's gonna double check to make sure he's seen what he's seen. Sees the gateway. Sees the twilight council. Um, and we'll see if we get a second scout. So we are gonna have a forward pylon right here. Uh, it looks like he wants to. Hide the tech, but still wants to warp in. Uh, absolutely close. And there goes the first couple warp ins of Dark Templar. Uh, this is where the accident's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be on these first two, first three Dark Templar. Now, if he doesn't get a lot of damage done, he can still pull these back and make Archons. Archons are still useful all game, but this could also be game ending damage. Uh, take a look at the production tab here. We do have an observer coming down for Necro. Um, fantastic timing there. Absolutely uh, should shut down. Uh, these DTs and it's gonna pop out right now There's an excellent excellent shield there uh, Morphing those in the Archons observer comes out at the exact right moment and that's gonna be all she wrote for the Dark Templar Can't get me twice uh, Can't fool me twice he says 
Um, well, there it is actually hiding right up there. And you got into the third base. Actually, coming down into the mineral line. One probe, two probes, three probes, four probes. Looks like you did get some money out of those Dark Templar. After all, that is 200 minerals uh, worth of damage there. Um, at a, at a, on, on a on a positive note here, Frogshot he can do damage all game with those. If he stands on top of it, he will force um, Nitro to react. And we do have a move out. It does look like he's going to be looking. In all the in all the right locations, trying to find this dark shrine, um, his op his opponent exiled now, throwing down zealot legs, throwing down that plus one, and morphing in a couple zealots. Um, but actually, opting looks like Nitro opting to push across the map. So we'll see if this pylon gets any use. We'll see if um, we see any more uh, counter harass there, and what he has at home to deal with it. Uh, this observer actually staying in position, so that's a good location. Uh, one at home, one in the forward base. He's going to need one forward uh, to deal with any of these, uh, with any dark shrines that his opponent decides to put down. Or any dark Templar language, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so getting that forward pile. Getting that gateway eaten without even a, a cancel there, as it looks like Exod collecting himself, trying to get himself in the right position for the battle. Um, getting that uh, dark Templar at the bottom. But so much tech went in, so much tech, so many resources went into the creation of that. Uh, Dark Templar that has given Nitro a very good opportunity to pull forward and get some damage done. Uh, this Archon doing some work, but absolutely being obliterated as soon as those shields fall down. Um, there's a GG. Nitro takes third place and the $10 prize. Congratulations um, to all those involved, and especially Nitro on a very clean and well executed PvP series. Um, he made it look easy. Uh, he's a and we'll see, actually, if we can get him in here. Uh, we'll have a short conversation. Hello, hello! Hola. Nicro, Nicro, how you doing, buddy? Oh! He just left. He just walked away. That's too bad. Well, I'll I'll step out of here then. Is he, uh, did he say he'd be right back, or was he stepping away for the? For the... Right okay. Yeah, he'll be back. All right. I'll give him a few moments to see if we can get a get an interview, get a short short asking and, and talkings about. All right. So for those uh, listening at on the stream, hey, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for for watching these champions battle it out for for third place. Um, I'm sure, it means a lot to them. It means a lot to me. Um, and that means a lot to Siege here, who's just in the right place at the right time. Yeah, just the micro support. How do you like those games? Oh, there he is. Hey, hey, Nicro. I got you, got you on stream, buddy. Can you uh, tell me about those games? Uh, warp prism game, yeah. Is that your strategy going into that? Just, just uh, good warp prisms. Fair enough. How about that DT timing with uh, as those DTs came in just as your observer in that last game? Yeah, I had a few. I was gonna pick second immortal, but I was like, I feel like DTs are about half the size of that observer is that thing. It's probably the worst way to lose the game. That was actually some fantastic work on the on the ramp there, dropping the uh, dropping that block from the sentries. Uh, is that We've actually seen a lot of, of really heavy spell use from you in the Protoss. Um, if it's not, if it's not just sentry stuff, it's it's when you're using the um, words words um, stasis fields. Um, is that something that that you worked on or practiced? Even their buildings are spellcasters. We don't even produce. You cast zealots. I like it. Um, anything you want to say to uh, to the rest of all in before uh, we wrap this up? Uh, hopefully, Riser wins. Hey, good luck to the players, I guess. I hope. Maybe Quill. Maybe you say maybe Quill. Uh, Is we'll see. okay. You just you. Oh, fair enough. Hey, thanks for your time, man. Um, what are you gonna do with your ten dollars? 
there we go, like a true champion. Um, he knows who's in charge. Uh, <laughs> all right, hey, thanks for your time, brother. All right, everybody, hey, thank you for watching. I'm going ahead and end the recording here. Uh, jump off the stream for a bit and really collect myself uh, after those fantastic series of matches. Um, thank you, and I'll see you at... 9 p.m. Let me double check. Make sure no changes. At 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern, we're gonna do the finals for the all invitational, and I'll give a I'll give a good 20 25 minute countdown there, and uh, hopefully have a good series of games. So it will be a best of seven. It will be for the remainder of this prize pool. Um, I'll see you then. Have a good day.